Alberto. In this one you are white and you play in opening I think okay. You have some mistake but you play okay and uh, I think you choose some mm, bad bad idea for you and uh, maybe you didn't know how to how to continue when you develop your pieces. So we will start e4 c5 this is sicilian you know that and you play perfect this in first couple of moves we should be three i don't think it's the best move because uh, all uh, bishop b3 uh, i think uh, it's best move when uh, your opponent play uh, uh, rook c8 and uh, you will be on mask and you need to move your bishop to b3 and now i think you should play castling or f3 or something like that f a5 okay castle he takes i think it's n it's not the best move probably he should pl continue with d6 and now uh, probably you will play f3 because he threats to play knight g uh, g4 and uh, to take your your bishop and you will uh, not have a bishop pair and also uh, he will take your strongest stronger uh, bishop because you uh, you have a pawn structure on white uh, square so you have naturally you have a, a bishop uh, with uh, dark squares it's it's better than white on your side also in his side is uh, probably is the same because if if you have if you uh, uh, if you don't have a dark square bishop probably uh, black will increase mm, power of uh, his black bishop And now you play h3. I don't like that move also because uh, probably it's better f3. You hold uh, f uh, e4 uh, pawn and also and also uh, you control g4 square. And now uh, now you play uh, h3 and uh, I don't know what you prevent with that move because if he uh, goes with uh, I don't know maybe with knight on g4 he doesn't do anything on that square and uh, I think h3 it's uh, too early to play okay a, uh, a4 is okay move because he, he uh, threatening to play a4 and to attack your bishop so a4 is okay move bishop c6 and queen d3 okay you you defend your your pawn maybe it's better f3 again knight d7 and you decide to exchange the, the bishops i agree with that because in sicilian the most in mo in the most position pawn uh, bishop on g g7 is the best piece for black so it's okay and now i think the best move for you is f4 or knight d5 because if you play knight d5 you uh, you control many squares on on the side of your opponent so maybe he, he uh, would play uh, e6 if he play if uh, e6 uh, pawn on d6 will be uh, weak and uh, after you move your knight on some square you can attack easily pawn on d6 so for me that is two option also you can bring your your rooks on open files that is also good idea and you decide to play uh, h4 and uh, after uh, he can play uh, h5 and your your pawn will be on some 
attack uh, with some uh, attack idea with uh, he can be in some variation on some attack uh, because uh, when you play uh, queen d4 he can play now uh, e5 and attack your pawn on h4 and uh, probably he will take that pawn because you you don't have uh, where to put your queen and to defend that pawn so i don't i don't like that uh, that move h4 uh, f6 also i don't like because probably it's, it's better to move his uh, king to g8 because uh, now he I'll it's not some crucial thing but uh, pr uh, probably uh, now is uh, it's weak uh, bla black is weak on white squares some of white squares and you move your bishop it's okay and now you play queen d1 i don't know why you play queen d1 mm, maybe you want to to do some man maneuver but uh, i don't know you al uh, also left uh, your pawn without protection uh, probably normal move is to connect uh, to develop your rooks or but also you you your pawn on a uh, a4 is hang you have some difficult position because you play h4 i think but now he, you can play uh, queen uh, knight to d5 and uh, threatening to uh, go with on b6 and attack uh, double attack queen and uh, rook so you can play now knight to d5 probably it's better than w what you play and also you can develop your rooks that is in the most time good good moves and also i don't know maybe a four but now you you don't have uh, some idea what to attack i don't I, I also don't have some idea how to how to continue probably knight d5 is the best move in this position because uh, you don't have connection with your pieces and uh, you don't have what to attack he captured one of your uh, pawn pawns and after rook e1 queen c6 you uh, you continue to to play aggressive and give him your pawns uh, rook e3 i don't like that move also probably you should play c3 and uh, first uh, defend your 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 position and then uh, try to to do something on his side but you decide to play too much aggressive In this position probably h6 is normal move for him because you need to move your queen and stop attacking uh, pawn on e7 rook f6 uh, for me it's passive move because uh, where where is uh, where will be uh, going uh, that rook from f6 from some to some another moves so i don't know maybe it's not the best position for his rook and you take on f5 okay th this is this is tactic very good if he takes you will take on e7 after rook f7 you will exchange and take on d8 very good queen b2 And you decide to exchange the bishops. It's 
this position it's uh, it's play playable uh, for you because uh, he uh, makes some mistakes especially rook f6 and uh, I don't like that, that moves at all and also uh, when you have some uh, piece which can I know annoy you missing uh, I think maybe uh, that uh, that piece can uh, be dangerous for you you can uh, do some prevent moves like h6 in this position or something like that uh, in some other position when you uh, just attack that piece and that piece uh, needs to remove from that and uh, that can be useful for for defending your position and now you you do you do that uh, very good but uh, also he can play in this position rook to f8 and probably you don't have anything or oh, maybe f3 probably f3 yeah I think yeah, this is equal position. Yes, you have one pawn less, but I think you can hold this and just to see how. Maybe you don't need to exchange the rooks. He doesn't threat you anything. What about if you play h5 now? You're threatening h6. I think it's better mm, that move instead of what you play. You decide to, to exchange and give him a check but after queen f6 uh, it's normal for you it's to not to take because if you simplify position you will lose because pawn uh, end game is is uh, is completely lost for you but if you have heavy pieces with queen and rook you can probably you can easily uh, draw this okay you missed that uh, your pawn hang on h4 and uh, still uh, this pawn uh, uh, mm, if you remember when i told you that 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 uh, that move was bad for you because also uh, you make that pawn uh, with uh, like some your weakness in position you should play probably I think you you need to uh, control some dark squares so queen to g3 and hold position after that you are completely lost because you have two pawns down and you can't yeah after queen f2 your rook hang and that is over you don't we don't need to to look to uh, some for the end for the end of the of this game because we can see anything useful but we can say all uh, uh, something about so uh, this is last position when where can you hold I think with uh, Queen g3 and try you can try to to move your rook uh, uh, somewhere when you can attack something I think maybe pawn on b7 is weak and try something maybe 
uh, after queen g3 uh, black can play queen f4 still we have weakness with that pawn on h4 yes but okay if you take and he takes uh, after rook e7 i think it's draw because if he play king h6 or uh, rook f7 it's okay you can uh, b bring uh, you can back your rook and defend uh, your pawns and this is i think draw position equal position because uh, you can oh no 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 he can play uh, he, he can take uh, first on uh, other side and with that will be with uh, check no 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 you can't play that so we, we can't exchange the queens maybe king h2 if he takes you can play queen e5 can you hold this probably not no This pawn on h4 is big weakness for you. What if you take? He takes, and you play g3. No, 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 g3 is not a good. Because maybe he can no 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 he can you can play because if he play rook f2 you have rook e7 and take his pawn so I don't know maybe rook b6 you will bring your king in the game queen f uh, king f6 rook c1 and now if he takes you takes who knows I saw this position many times, but I really don't know is this uh, draw or... I think it's draw. Because after <coughs> rook a1, a1, simply you will put your, your rook behind pawn and just wait no it's not here what you need to do is uh, it's uh, it's to to hold your your king on g2 probably because when you when he puts a pawn uh, pawn on a2 uh, if your king is on uh, f2 square he can play rook h1 and if you take with your rook on a2 uh, he can play rook h2 and take your your rook on a2 so you you will 
always stick your your king on the hold your king on uh, g2 and that idea can pass so he now he needs to to bring his king but how No, I think it's draw. That's it for today. Bye-bye.